Today's sales strategy, an easy charitable legacy. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, host of the daily talk show, Let's Get Down to Business. And I'm Don Pran, Senior Advisor to Ensmark. Don, we're talking about creating an easy charitable legacy plan. Talk a little bit about this, because this is really a cool idea. It is a great idea. And the reason this idea makes sense is because with interest rates so low, older people, people already in retirement, a lot of times have the choice of either taking risk to try to get better yields that they are not comfortable taking or keeping the money in the bank at 1%. And so this is a fantastic planning option for that situation. Well, let's talk about it. We're using a uh, name, again, a fictitious, Roger Bacon, Bacon, a widower, age 75. He has a current net worth of 4.6 million, including a half a million in money market funds earning under 1%. I'm sure it's even half of that. Roger's a risk-averse investor, my kind of guy, and having given up waiting for better yields at this time of his account, he's considering directing a half a million toward a charitable gift annuity. He likes the idea of leaving a scholarship legacy to his favorite charitable organization. Let's see what happens to his net worth when he goes ahead and he makes his contribution as is in the present condition of his estate today. We're using the Arizona State University Foundation calculator with their permission. And we're going ahead and we're going to insert some of the information about Roger. He's 75 years old. He has a half a million that he wants to give to the ASU Foundation. The payments will be about 5.8% of the gift annually, which is $29,000 per year. And for the first 12.4 years, approximately 21,000, about 75% of the payments will be received as tax-free income. The gift is an immediate charitable income tax deduction of 228,859. And additionally, half a million given in exchange for the annuity will not be subject to estate taxes, which I think is a huge issue. This is why charitable uh, gifts like this are really a huge planning tactic. And the last one, at the end of the annuity period, the amount of the gift less the cost of making the life payments will be used by the ASU Foundation to further its mission. So Don, let's walk through some of the assumptions here that we've already done. Let's see if I can get to the um, case study. Sure. And you can walk us through some of the mechanics of Roger's worth and then we'll get to the Innsmark uh, demonstration. Sure. So in this case, Roger has a million dollars in his IRA, He's got a half a million dollars of taxable assets, a million dollars tax exempt assets, $1.3 million of equity assets, half a million dollar residence, $300,000 in personal property. So he's got a total net worth of $4.6 million. And so we used Innsmark's Wealthy and Wise to compare his wealth accumulation over time uh, if he just stays with what he's currently doing or if he makes the gift to Arizona State. Now we're using a 3% inflation number again, it's traditional in a lot of our demonstrations and our displays. Walk us through this graph. Is this from Wealthy and Wise? Just tell us where the, we're getting this from and so forth. That is, that is right. Wealthy and Wise is a wealth planning software program and it can do a number of different things. What you're seeing here is you have uh, 5.3 million in net worth uh, at, out at life expectancy. You're paying $227,000 in uh, taxes on his qualified plans, and then uh, you're transferring $5 million to his children in this case. So the children, this is the traditional plan? That's the plan if he does nothing. Okay, and the plan this if we... The, please, if, if he makes the gift to uh, Arizona State, well, then his net worth increases to 5.7 million, transfer taxes are the same, and he still has $5.5 .5 million going to his heir. So by making the gift to Arizona State, which is $892,000 at his life expectancy, he not only increases his income, he also increases the amount of net worth going to his kids, and he gives almost a million dollars to his favorite charity. It's, it's absolutely incredible. We've created a legacy. His beneficiaries didn't get shorted, right? Everybody seems to be happy, and the foundation can move on with their mission. Yeah, exactly. And the reason this works is because people who are already in retirement, who are conservative investors, have all this money earning a half a percent a year. So by converting it to this type of structure, you can make the charity better off, the kids better off, and the client better off. It's absolutely amazing. This is an easy way to create a charitable legacy for your family and the next generation. Today's sales idea is brought to you by Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. And by Ensmark, the most widely used software when it comes to strategies and presentations using cash value life insurance.